Welcome to Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach, where we are passionately committed to spreading the timeless message of Christ's love and teaching. Join us on this inspiring journey as we walk hand in hand in embracing the beauty of faith through the transformative power of the gospel from God's masterpiece evangelist Catherine Favor. welcome you today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our topic today is assumption. The Lord gave me this topic. I was like, you know, I was thinking of so many things, what kind of meditating, relating to my brothers, my sisters, relating to people. And it, it all just laid this in my heart and reminded me the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 22a and it says that when you get angry at your brother without any cause the person is accountable for judgment if we look at it so much brethren we will see that there are so many people under this judgment People get angry at their fellow brothers and sisters, and the person they are angry at don't even know. You look at somebody, you judge, you condemn. Because of what? The way you see things, the way you read meanings to behaviors, the way you read body language, the way the people dress, the way the people talk, they just, you just judge and condemn that person. This has been a problem in the body of Christ. As children of God, we come before God. We must have the love that God have for us. Why? Jesus is the one that died. We do not even deserve to live. We do not deserve this wonderful grace. We are sinners. We are not fit, not even worthy, but because God created us to worship him and God have to come down because animals and bulls cannot save. God have to come down to redeem us back to himself. And because he redeemed us back to himself, we must love just the way he loved us. If we look at our brothers and sisters, look at them with the love of God. Don't look at them judgely because if we human beings <laughs> we are given to judge, everybody will die. Because the way you look at this person, because the person didn't act the way you expect, that person they judge and condemn. If God gave judgment to man, nobody deserves to live. Everybody will die. We keep judging and killing each other. Brethren, let us know there's a problem in the body of Christ. And this spirit, I'm going to hit it. See, unteachable spirit. Let us study. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this day. We bless your holy name. I pray for your mercy and forgiveness upon every one of us here. Forgive us and we forgive all that wrong us in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, your mercy visit us and visit every one of us in our families in our land, in our nation, in the body of Christ. I pray your mercy visit us. And I pray that you teach us and help us to understand your word. Minister to us and we reject every force that have come in as a result of disobedience to your word, as a result of assumption, judging, and condemning, as a result of unteachable spirit. I refuse the power of the evil one that gathered to war against us in this world today in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to look at assumption. I did my research. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. Assumption. According to Cambridge Dictionary, an assumption is something that you accept to be the case. Even without proof. That is wonderful. For example, people might make an assumption that you are a nerd, like a foolish person, if you wear glasses, even though that's not true. But because people consider these people that they are 
nerd, like foolish person. Everybody put that stigma on that person. Oh, these are this group of people. They judge and they condemn these people. They consider us assumption. If I look at the book of, I, the Lord gave me this Matthew 5, 22. But I say unto you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. We all are going to be judged. This is something we have to ask ourselves. Call your brother, call your sister. This is what you did. I see this way. Why is it like this? And let that your brother or your sister explain themselves so that when we reason together, we will understand so that the devil will not come between us in our fellowship and sow seed of discord. Because when one person assumes something without clarifying the truth, it becomes a rumor in the body of Christ, in a group. It becomes somebody will just be talking and talking and talking. You assume your head, if something come up of your head, you start thinking and you take it to be truth and you don't know if it's a lie. It creates trouble in the body of Christ, in the families. I've seen a man that is always assuming what the wife says. The wife assume just behavior. The husband assume behavior. But the woman have not said anything. The man have not said anything. Just because you assume, okay, assume, this is what this person is thinking. Come on. It creates a problem. If you look at husband and wife today, when they quarrel, it's because of that lack of communication and understanding. Let's communicate. Let us look, reason it together. You will see that the limited number of people, marriages breaking will not break. When they communicate, when they understand and they be on the same page. So therefore, so also in our, in our fellowship, wherever we gather, you don't just think, take something and clarify that that is the truth. We are going to be judged. This is a huge problem in the body of Christ. You see what the Proverbs 28 said. When I read the 25 verse 8, when I read this, I was shocked. The Bible is full of mysteries. I pray God keep giving us interpretation and understanding. Proverbs 25 verse 8 said, Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what, what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor have put thee to shame. Don't rush into carrying somebody for judgment. Don't rush into carrying somebody to court to go and judge because you'll be surprised when you get there. You are going to be the one that will be ashamed. That's assumption. It's dangerous. People just assume. You assume. They said this person did this. You quickly believe. This is where some homes are broken. Some marriages are broken. Some people will just say something. You just carry it. Or maybe you look at somebody's behavior. You assume maybe he went to it with a woman or he went with a man. You assume. You assume and that was it. It creates problem. Where comes understanding according to the word of God? Where comes studying, you know, in communication, sorry. This has become a problem. I remember when I was engaged with my husband years back. We were, I think we were going for one document like that. And we went to a place. I don't even know the place. I don't know the place. So my husband Brands, was busy what they were doing in that office. I said, okay, let me just take a walk and just um, go and buy something, you know, just a snack. So when he came out, he came back, to, he didn't see me. And for me, I wasn't really that fast. <clears throat> he assumed that I would be very fast, come out right away. So I, I delayed a little because <clears throat> I was not the only one, right? So when I finished, I never knew that he was looking for me. He was looking for me. In his head, <laughs> this girl I mean, don't want to marry me or something like that. In his head, he was so mad. And I, as soon as I was, I, I started coming and we just, <laughs> we met, he met me in front of the, one of the buildings. As he looked at me, he took off. He didn't say anything. He, was, he left. I'm like, come back. Where are you going? The man didn't say anything. What? What is wrong with you? He didn't say anything. And at the point, we went back to the office. 
He was seated mute. He was busy doing what he was doing. He didn't say anything. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You know, in his head, he might be assuming what, you know. So it was later uh, when we got home. I said, what was wrong with you? He said, I was scared. Two things. What? What? <laughs> Maybe you left for another man. Number two, maybe you are dead. Dead with, you know, you assumed, you know, number one, fear trigger. People assume. I said, that's a stupid thing to think of, you know. We just laughed it off. It took him a while to calm down. And if we go to some marriages, people just assume. People just assume because, okay, because this woman didn't meet up here or because this man didn't meet up here. Oh, that's what this person is doing. Are you serious? This has broken so many homes, you know? So, because you see so your husband or your wife with somebody talking, don't just assume. Many homes has been broken. Let me bring it to our brothers and our sisters. Just because your, sisters, your sister didn't do what you want, she, you want her to do, or dress the way you expect her to dress, or kind of do some certain thing the way you do your own thing. You think your sister, you now stigmatize that person. You assume, judge, condemn, finalize that person. And that person to you, it's like, you won't talk to that person again. Come on. Why can't you call and say, hey, sis, sister, brother, this is what, what happened? Why did you do this? And hear that person out so that the devil will not come between us. Communication is very in, important. Come now, let's reason together. Isaiah 1 18 said, Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they shall be as white as wool. What's wrong? Oh, this is what, what it is. Oh, you see, I thought it was this. I'm sorry. You forgive each other and resolve it so that the devil will not come between us. So we are, I, I saw Proverb 18.2. It says something. It says, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Can you imagine? A fool will not do what? Relax, learn. Let me understand. But they just make up their own opinion, iron it out, settle it, and that's it. The Bible records this person as a fool. Matthew 7, 1 says, we all know, judge not that you be not judged. The measure with which you judge somebody, that's how you're going to be judged. Because he said, but I say unto you, whoever is angry with his brother without a cause is in danger for what? The judgment. If we look at it very well, let us bring, let us bring this in, in various families and homes today, assumption. You assume that this is what the person is doing. It is very dangerous. It has scattered so many relationships. It has broken so many homes. And I, I should have added ego here. I should have added ego here because when people assume there's something we want to look at, when these people refuse to understand, refuse to use the word of God to bring correction in their heart, to just ask this person so that we kind of iron this thing out. Some people will not want to take correction. Number one, ego is there, their pride. That has pushed so many people into problems. So in today's daily devotion, we want to honestly speak to ourselves. We are making correction. People will say, I make New Year resolution. I make New Year resolution now. The New Year resolution, did you ask yourself in your heart, what are those faults that I have? Some people will not say what is bothering them. They will just be mute. They will just mute. They will not say what is bothering them. And that thing that is bothering them might be wrong. It might be right. It might be wrong. But there's a solution with God. You know, so it is very important. Let me go back to that. According to Cambridge Dictionary, an assumption is something that you accept to be the case, even without proof. Example, people might make an assumption that you are a nerd, a foolish person, maybe a thief or anything. People assume it because they saw maybe you went past, something was missing, you know, but they check, you are not the only one there. 
but because maybe they they look at the way you dress maybe you don't dress expensively or something like that and maybe this person don't look tattered or something maybe that day is not the day this person dress well or maybe just out superficial look the judge it might be this person that took it and they, they wouldn't look at those people that dress more expensively i know people some people like that you know they dress so expensively they dress so expensively when they want to get into action take some stuff stealing some people do they do so many things so we can't say because this person is the one that dress you know not as expensive as you think he might be the one that took that but there are other people there we don't assume we don't know who the thief is something has happened something has happened we don't assume let us leave that on the side but we are supposed to because this person doesn't didn't do something the way you do it i give an example sometime sometime here when i just came to the us right so i went to driving school i shared it here <laughs> i shared it here so we went to driving school i'm black there are other white people there and there's another other black people there so i think the great i keep i always forget you must have like from 85 pass to pass each test for in that drive <laughs> in that driving class so after the test if you are given um your paper you see your grade you stay it means that you are going to retake it for that day right so if you leave you pass it you have to leave because you pass the test so the instructor passed the paper around and gave as i saw my paper i picked my bag i was about leaving a lot of people <laughs> were living there this this black, black lady that was by me the same race as me black you know yes i have accent you know so when i pick up my she first the first of all gave her, her paper she screamed what i have to sit down to retake this test and all that so when they gave me my paper, I picked my bag to go. She said, are you leaving? I said, yeah. You? I said, what do you mean? You mean I can't pass the test or what? Oh, you mean because I have accent? Uh, you mean because I have accent, I'm a dummy? She was looking at me. The man, the instructor <laughs> looked at her and shook, her and shook his head to tell her to stop. So she assumed because this lady have accent my accent is not same as hers so she assumed that maybe I will, I will not even understand what what was written on the paper you see people assume so that they looked at her i said girl because i have accent doesn't mean i'm a dummy you know i just work but that's assumption after that day she takes correction you know so it's also happened in various places we don't just assume because my brother did this, my sister did this, you just to condemn. You won't talk to this person. You won't talk to that person. Hey, these people are just bringing judgment on themselves. There are times you look at a person, we conclude and decide what that person is thinking, who that person is, or what that person did without clarification. You, do, you need to clarify whatever you think that is going on in your head so that you don't put yourself in trouble a lot of people expect someone to act in certain way according to their own understanding or opinion and if that person do not the judge condemn or classify that person to their own judgment you see that is very dangerous some people are stigmatized stigma they put like a name tag this is who this person everywhere this person go they put a name tag some people are stigmatized because of assumption, even kill for what they do not know because of what somebody said. You have to be, you have to clarify. You have to clarify. To be honest with you, some people have a form of, I call it mental dysfunctional sense of reality. They don't see reality the way people see it. It's a dysfunctional way of thinking is not coordinated it's not of reality you see what i'm saying it's not of some people maybe they want people to fly not to walk or something like that you know so this dysfunctional sense of reality because they hold on to what they believe without learning to understand because they only express their own opinion 
this can be considered people with unteachable spirits. Take it from me. This of unteachable spirits, their own opinion, this can be considered that. They think of their own, other people's own don't make sense. Even Proverbs 21, 11, when the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. When you, when you, when you, when you correct somebody that is a scorner, just take something, you know, they talk, they don't even think, they assume. You see, but they don't take, they don't take correction, but the wise ones, the simple with open heart, they will take correction. And when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. That's why, brethren, my people perish for lack of knowledge and lack of understanding. It is a big problem. This is going on a lot in the, among brethren. The unteachable spirit is the mental attitude that resists receiving new, new knowledge. New things, they don't want to take new things. Those things they already have, is they're locked up with it. It's unteachable spirit. They keep assuming that thing they have, they don't want to take new things. <laughs> May God have mercy. I pray for some people that are caged under uh, a, 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 a affiliation to this big church, that big church, that big place, and all that. Some people just believe that that's, that person, who, somebody have to decide their life. It's dangerous. That is one living under bondage. The, the unteachable spirit is the mental attitude that I receives receive that resist receiving new knowledge this attitude is an enemy to the wisdom of god and the operation of his word however the one who is taught must receive that knowledge or to acquire wisdom while wise people are teachable i believe we all are wise here today wise people are teachable fools reject instruction according to proverb 15.5. Be warned that God's use of the term fool differs considerably from our everyday conservation. You know, in this example, a fool is someone who can't be taught or counseled. No matter what you tell them, they don't want to take it. May God help us. We go before God and pray for each other, then meet and reason together. Be directed by God's word. Forgive one another and pray together that the enemy will not come between us. That's what we'll do. Let us pray. Dear loving Father, let's beg for forgiveness. Have you assumed anything? Think something that you have not gone to your brother or your sister to correct, to clarify. Beg God for forgiveness. So that after this session, please, we go and reach out. Whoever that is angry or you assume, clarify things with them. And God will take the glory. The devil will not come between us. Father, we pray for forgiveness. Anyone assuming anything, judging brothers and sisters without reasoning, forgive. Anyone that don't express themselves why they are angry, why they are not explaining what is going on with them. Lord, I pray for forgiveness. And we forgive everyone that is wrong at us without any cause. Father, we pray for forgiveness in Jesus' name. And I pray for your touch upon our brothers and sisters assumption, judging, condemning, criticizing, Father, forgive and touch Christians, touch families, touch marriages, touch homes, touch brothers and sisters to be in understanding. Remove every voice that come to speak in somebody's head. Make them to reason negatively, condemning one another and not taking a new teaching from you. Father, I pray, forgive in the mighty name of Jesus and touch these lives everywhere in the body of christ lord i pray for your teaching of new things open our understanding for us to continue to learn for us to continue to reason in your word for us to use your word correct and not to judge or condemn one another in jesus name lord i pray for your love to flow in every heart i pray that your spirit reign in every heart I pray your mighty power, your mighty hand, start to touch every life and make every heart, deliver everyone that is operating under unteachable spirit, a mental dysfunctional sense of reality. I pray that you touch these lives and bring them to the knowledge of your word, all to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Visit our brothers and sisters. Visit every home right now.
Visit your church and let your knowledge start to flourish in us, in us and convict our heart to see our brothers and sisters with love. Put love in marriages. Put mind of forgiveness. Forgiveness in marriages, in homes, in churches, in our families. Let your spirit of forgiveness start to reign in us. I pray thee in Jesus' name, dear loving Father, and I pray that we come to reason together. I pray for communication, interaction, understanding, so that we'll be able to serve you in truth and in spirit. In Jesus' almighty name we pray. Amen. Father, your children, everyone today, I commit into your hand for this period that we started a new month. Start continue to manifest your hands of miracle, visitation in your sons, in your daughters, in our going out, in our coming in. I pray for your glory to continue to flourish and protect every one of us, our children, our youth in Jesus' name. Thank you for this day. Document in my brother, my sister's hand. Lord, I pray your mighty power take over whatever these documents are. Whatever these papers are, I commit it to your hand. Take over for your favor to go before your sons and daughters, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take over. I ask for peace in every home. Every heart that is so heavy, is it towards us or towards anyone? Lord, I pray for your peace in this heart. I pray for your peace. Remove this heaviness. Remove this anger. Touch this person to express themselves for peace to reign. Thank you, dear loving Father. In Jesus' almighty name we pray and worship. Amen. I cover every one of us in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' almighty name we pray and worship. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and evermore amen god bless you brothers god bless you sisters please please go and make peace go and iron things out express yourself commit your brother your sister in prayer for peace to reign before you reach to this person so that no one will hold each other in contempt, in, in judgment, in condemnation. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of this remarkable journey with Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach. We hope that our shared experience has ignited a flame within you, one that burns brightly with love and devotion for Christ. Follow and subscribe to our social media platforms. Facebook slash YouTube slash Instagram slash TikTok. Catherine Favor Worldwide Evangelical Outreach. Website www.foutreach.org. Thanks for watching.